What's up, YouTube? It's Real Code Burnout. Thanks for joining me back at my channel. And yeah, get down here in my snake pit. <laughs> oh, oh, what do I have here but a massive broadsword? <laughs> and yes, it says McLeod. All right, so here's the skinny on this. Those of you that know me might know that I'm a fan of the Highlander series. Actually, the Highlander movies and the Highlander television series. So this is a wall hanger, okay? This is meant to be a wall hanger. It's not a legit uh, version of the McLeod broadsword that he used in his clan days in the Highlands of Scotland. Now... I almost sent this one back because it came to me with the handguard here all wobbly pobbly and big old gap there and I mean it was just ridiculous super crooked I'll try to roll in a few picks of it let me stand to the side and get a few picks here okay and now I contacted my buddies over at Bud K and when I say, say my buddies I mean I just clicked on the customer service link there and I emailed them and they said no problem we'll get you a shipping label you can ship it back we'll give you a refund or give you another one so I was gonna go do that but this thing came in this huge ass box gonna be a pain in the ass I was talking to John Solar you know one of those uh, Google Hangout thingy my bobbers and he's like you know what you could probably fix that and it's probably made of this and this and yeah I mean it's it is and I was like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna mess with it and what am I gonna do mess it up worse I'll still send it back I actually got it pretty good got this pretty well in line it's not perfect but it's way better than it used to be got it all nice and tight and now I can hang it on the wall where I intended to for my little decor so I caught this one on sale I think it was like $26.98 I think it came out to. Yeah, I know some of you may be like, that's about uh, 26 bucks too much. It's a wall hanger. It's a display piece. If you don't want to... I can't say I, I will recommend it because of it came in damaged, but maybe mine was a fluke. I will say that it, it has more of an edge on it than I want for a wall hanger. You know, some places not so much, but some places... A little too sharp in my for my taste for a wall hanger the tip this tip it actually was punctured through the box when it came in it was in two boxes so it was punctured through the first layer of the box the first box and uh, I'll put the specs down below I don't remember them if it's stainless steel I don't think it's a uh, carbon steel the son of a bitch is made in Pakistan I think the Chinese would have done a better job on it We'll do a little bit of a close-up. It looks like some straight-up safety wire there on some fake-ass leather. And the material underneath that, this is some type of weird pot metal under here. Because some of it was broken down in this area. But I got it pretty well fixed up. And this was probably done with like a sand casting because the detail is yeah. But it kind of gives it, you know what, that type of casting to me kind of gives it you know how how detailed were the were the was the who knows back in the Highlander days on the movies if it was going to be even that detailed but that's why it's a a little a little bit less detailed that's showing up on the camera there and there's the blade itself there is one one side looks like they hit it pretty hard with the mallet right there but the other side, so I'll have to pick my display side on that. Anyway, all right, there it is. I'll put a link down below if you want to look at it. I ain't recommending this one. Maybe you want to take a chance if it's super cheap like I did. At least it was cheap to me. You know, if you freaking, <laughs> you see from the pictures, I mean, you might get one who almost hit my tripod. You get one swing on this and the guys you hit it's going to go, ow! And you're going to be like, I broke my sword. Because <laughs> I guarantee you, what's holding this handle on 
because it was bent and I had to rebend it and it bent back pretty easy. That's going to snap off. So, there it is. A little sword action from the real Cobra Burnout snake pit. Boom!